YouTube, Gallagher123123 back with another Victor Reader Stream 3 tutorial for you all. Now today, as I'm recording this, November 8th, Humanware has released the 1.2 update for the Victor Reader Stream 3. And in this video, I thought it'd be a good idea to show you how the upgrade process works. So let's go ahead and get into this. First things first, of course, we need to be connected to Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off airplane mode. I do already have the stream powered on. So I'll just go ahead and press and hold the online key, which is directly above the number two. Airplane mode off. Okay. And it says that airplane mode is off, so that's good. Now you're hearing Will as the voice, that's what I'm using. I did do a video on managing voices in the spring when the 1.1 update launched. So if you're curious about that, Wi-Fi connected. I'd encourage you to go check that out. Now I'm gonna wait because it should prompt us about the update. Okay, giving it a second to see if it will prompt us. I believe it should let us know that an update is available. But if it doesn't, we can also go in through the menu to Notes 96. Available update found version 1.2.0 underscore build 1422. Press pound key to confirm or star key to cancel. Notes. Okay, so it repeated the bookshelf we were on, but did say there's an update available to version 1.2, and that we could press confirm now if we want to install it. So let's do that. I'll press confirm. Note, download started. 96, notes, 97. Okay, and it did say that the download has started. Now, I'm not sure. I would imagine we should get some progress. Let's just see where if we're still in the notes. One. Yes, we are still in our notes bookshelf. So this is different from the stream two, where you'd be in an area as it downloads. Now let's just see if we press and hold pound. Battery powered, ninety-eight percent. No downloads. Okay, it's um, it does not give us a progress there. That might be good if it did, but I imagine if we go into the menu. So let's press seven. Settings, general settings. And I'll press four to go to online settings. Online settings. Software update. And if we go in here. Automatic check on two percent. Okay, and that's where we can go if we want to see the update progress. Three percent. And get the progress updates on the download. Now this is nice. As this does mean it looks like that we could use the stream normally. And it would notify us when this download process 3%. is complete. Now it is taking a little bit, it says 3%. 4%. And there's 4%. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead 4%. and I'll pause this recording edit to 5%. when the update is at a higher percentage. And we'll go 5%. from there and I'll show you the rest of the update process. Error while downloading update info. Check for update. Okay, so it looks like I've hit an error. I had to step away for a few minutes, so I missed what happened here. But it says... Error while downloading update info. Error while downloading update info. So I'll press confirm. Check for update. And... Automatic check. Check for update. I'll try this again manually. So I'll say check for update. Please wait. I noticed the download was quite slow. Um, so let's see what happens this time. Please wait. Error while downloading update info. Uh oh. No update available. Yes. Check for update. Okay, it's saying there's no update available. Software update. So I'm gonna reboot and see if that fixes it. Automatic I'll check. check one more on. time. Check for update. Please wait. Available update found. Version 1.2.0 underscore build 1422. 
press pound key to confirm or star key to cancel. Okay, so it's showing me the update again, so let's press confirm to download. Download started. Downloading update. And now it says it's downloading update. So let's see. 2%. Okay, so we are starting from the beginning again, it looks like. 5%. Okay, but this time it's moving. Well, I don't want to jinx it. 7%. It is going significantly faster, I think. 10%. Yeah. Okay. So, 12%. we'll let this happen. So what happened earlier, I had to step away for a minute. So I missed kind of where 14%. we stopped before. But you'll get to see that through the magic of editing. 17%. Okay, we're now moving right along. So I'm going to put this camera down. And this time, I will be here to... Pick up the camera again when the update is nearly done downloading. 27%. So we're about halfway there. 50%. And so it's it's moving. It's a little slower, but... 54%. Oh, that was a big um, percentage increase. Okay. 57%. 57%. Okay, now it's really moving again. Okay, now we're about 86% of the way through. 88%. So I'll stay on camera as we finish this download and we'll see what the next 19%. step is. Okay, here's 90%. 92%. 92%. This is actually my first time doing it over the air like this. The last time I just 95%. transferred the file to an SD card. But I like this process so far. 1 Okay, so it is at the next step. It says install update now. Now I'm going to press confirm to do this. Now you may notice that I'm actually running on battery power. And I believe if you have at least 50% or higher than 50%, you can install updates on battery now. So we'll just do this. I'll press confirm. Shutting down. Please wait. Okay, and it says it's shutting down. Now we may not get the update or the power off beep, but we'll see. Let's see. Okay, so it did shut down. I'm just going to give it a second because I don't know if it's supposed to reboot or if I have to do it. Okay, I think maybe I do, so I'll go ahead and press power. Press and hold power. Okay, we've got a short beep. A bit shorter than normal. Let's see what happens. Okay, we got a ding. Okay, I haven't heard any speech yet, so let's see what happens. Starting update program. Okay. 10%. Starting update program. We have Sharona now speaking to us. Now, it'll be interesting to see if this keeps my voice configuration or if we have to re-download that. 20%. Okay, this is moving, 20 percent. 30%. 40%. Okay, 40%. Seems to be moving at a good enough rate, so I'll just stay here with you, and we'll see how long this takes. Fifty percent. Okay, halfway there. Sixty. 
60%. Okay, we're moving. Seventy percent. Eighty percent. Okay, so it seems to be moving a percentage about or ten percent every about twelve seconds or so. So it's moving right along there and we're almost done. 90%. Okay, 90. 99%. Just about there. 100%. Update completed. Shutting down. All right. It says update completed, and it did shut down. So let's go ahead and power back up. And now we should be running version 1.2. We'll check that, though, as soon as this boots up. So that was a very easy process. And, of course, as usual, the stream talked us through it and explained kind of what was happening. So... It did work. So to recap, I turned off airplane mode. Okay, we're booting up. Um, and it did tell us that an update notes, was available. 96. Notes, 97. And that we could um, we could install it, tell us that we could install it, or we could download it. It, it attempted to download. I'm not sure what happened with the first time I downloaded we have been having some internet issues, so it's quite possible that maybe it went down or something during the update, and I didn't realize that because I'd had to step away. But then when we went back in and we did it manually, it did download and complete. And now it you know prompted us through the rest of the install uh, progress, and now it looks like we are good to go. Let's just see if we're running 1.2. I'll press and hold the 5 key. About. Version. 1.2.0 underscore build 1422. Yes, Model. we are. Stream V3. Okay, I'll stop that. 97. And. Wi-Fi connected. Okay, there we go. Wi-Fi is connected, so we are good. Let's just see what voices we have. Previously, I had Will and Lily installed. Let's see if we still have Lily. Yes, we do. Okay. Will. Okay, I'll leave it on Will. So, there we go. That is how we update the Victor Reader Stream 3 using Wi-Fi. Very straightforward process, and there are good, helpful voice prompts along the way. Hope this was helpful, and stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it helpful, please give the video a like. Subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified about upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter at Gallagher123123. You can also find me on Mastodon at Gallagher123123 at dragonscave.space. Thank you again for watching. We will see you in an upcoming video.